Well, when Jane saw these chimps, everything was interesting and she was an incredibly close observer. She tried to capture everything they were doing in her notes, so she described uh, expressions, gestures in great detail, um, and interactions. And it's extraordinary to read the level of detail that uh, she records in those early notes. And then that got captured and made more formal later on in detailed check sheets. I think Jane really created her own methodology. She was always interested in um, differences between individuals, so she created what she called character files. So there'd be this description of what all the chimps were doing, but she would then uh, take the observations of particular individuals, put them into that individual's file. So she was always, from the start, interested in individual differences. And that's something which is now a mainstream thing to do, but it certainly wasn't to even talk about personality differences when she was starting to do that. Um, and then these other kinds of more systematic ways of recording data grew very organically from what she was already doing. And so I think it's fair to say that the f even following one individual and um, keeping track of it was and realizing that it was different from others um, was something that she pioneered. And since then, other people have applied these kinds of methods and focal observations of individuals to many different species. In the early days, Jane wrote her own notes in English. Um, then there were assistants like me who wrote in English. Uh, but then we started training Tanzanian, local Tanzanians who didn't speak English. They came from the villages nearby. They didn't have much education at all, but they had enough education to write. And they were, of course, extremely good at following the chimps and they knew all the plants much better than we did and so on. They wrote in Swahili. We have all these notes now in Swahili and uh, they have to be translated uh, for most of us to be able to really see what's in them. And in fact, we had to translate these, these check sheets which have time in them to go instead of seven in the morning, which is our English time, their Swahili time starts seven o'clock in the morning is one. We do have to take these things into account. We have to be careful about Swahili time, English time. And so there are a lot of aspects to um, computerizing these data that we have to be aware of. So uh, for the last 20 years I've had, I've paid undergraduates to do this data entry from these check sheets and now we have over 35 years of daily data in um, a digital database, in a relational database. We have either myself or volunteers or independent study students here at Duke will go through and extract these particular pieces of data and then we have those in separate tables within the database. So we can look over many years because we have these daily maps computerized, we can look and see how the range changed. We also know what they eat every day, we can see where the food is, where do they eat different kinds of food, uh, we can see how that influences um, their territorial behavior. We have actually, there's a, somebody visiting in a couple of weeks from England who's very interested in um, shared attention by mothers and infants. And she wants to come and look through the video and see what she can find in, in terms of, you know, does the infant look where the mother's looking? And so that's a research question. And we're very excited about her coming to, you know, see what she can do with this video because it wasn't recorded for that question. But I think we'll be able to point her to um, films of mothers and infants of different ages, which she'll then have to go through and decide whether there's useful material in there. So that's the kind of thing we want to encourage more and more, you know, different kinds of research questions. And we're hoping to get lots of different scientists to use this. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.